You've probably seen the video by now of how high the water got from the storm surge along the Corpus Christi Bayfront and over on North Beach. Our Bill Churchwell spoke with 3 News meteorologist Alan Holt about the combination of all the right elements that caused that damaging surge. Hannah only reaching hurricane status less than 24 hours before making landfall way south of Corpus Christi. But the effects of the storm still packing a powerful punch even here at home with the storm surge causing the initial damage. Well, a storm surge can happen with, you know, a category one hurricane or a category five hurricane. Just take a look at this video of that surge from our three news Lex cam. Meteorologist Alan Hold says it has a lot to do with the size of the storm coupled with the wind and where you are compared to where the storm strikes. The counterclockwise spin around Hannah ended up putting Corpus Christi and Corpus Christi Bay uh, in a good position to receive that right front quadrant of the storm, which often has the highest storm surge with it. Allen says he was actually surprised by the amount of storm surge we got right here in Corpus Christi. What some of these locations, the art museum, the aquarium, Bob Hall Pier, what these locations experienced uh, given just that four to six foot surge, and that's exactly what we got. So that's an eye opener for me for sure. The surge at Bob Hall Pier, about four to six feet. In downtown, it was roughly three feet. In the grand scheme of things, that's relatively small, but as we saw, it still caused major flooding. So I think a lot of what we saw downtown, and even with the damage at Bob Hall Pier, had to do with the storm surge plus the waves coming in on top of that. And as the area begins to dry up, folks are now left with a big mess to clean up in the wake of the storm. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.